Hello everyone, my name is Lachara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2 Legendary Difficulty Let's Play. So, Puzzle or the Dragon, a visual novel, just started. That's good. So let's uh let's hype it up. Um things are going fairly well. My cash in hand is increasing after I did have issues with it earlier where it went down because I bought a bunch of subsidiaries. But on the negative side right now, well, I just lost hype for <laughs> no reason. Um, it's a summer slump, which obviously 30% less consoles and games sold. But it's also right now a semiconductor shortage. So plus 100% production costs for consoles. So my console sales are way down. Way down because the prices are way up. Right? You can see. <laughs> but it doesn't help that the summer slump started at the same time. Summer slump will end soon. Semiconductor shortage will go a little while longer. RPG engine was licensed. That is good. Um, I did just release RPG. Ooh, that is moving some serious numbers. 189,000. And then I have a budget game. And we have the awesome bundle. Which, um, yeah, it's already made $3 million. The awesome bundle has. So the awesome bundle is probably going to make a fair amount of money for me. So what what can I do for budget games? Cyclomania Seven, yeah, sure. Let's do Bud Cyclomania Seven Classic. Budget games are awesome, <laughs> folks. They are awesome. All right, so we're up to forty hype here. So let's get it up to sixty. Yeah, get up to sixty on the TV spot. Get us to ninety. We can overhype or and or do a demo from there. Should be good. All right, does anything need a free update? Dragon Fantasy XI could go for a free update, even though it doesn't need it sales-wise, right? It's <laughs> moving almost 200000 a week. That's during the summer slump, right? That's good. Although it did, find to, it did fall to 124000 there. Um, Second Mania Classic. And the awesome bundle, yes. And let's do my two newest consoles. I don't really care about the GoPro quite so much. Ooh, we got new sound. 3D sound 5.1. So that'll be a tech level 6 sound, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. Finally. We were overdue for that, honestly. <laughs> Way overdue for that. Yes, yeah, like Mini 7 Classic should make money in the long run, I think. Um, does anything need some hype? Lead Dead 5. Do you want to do another TV spot for Lead Dead 5? Yeah. Let's get that back up to 100 hype. Or have I done a demo yet? Man, my customer support is still not keeping up with the incoming queries. Which surprises me. It surprises me because I added like... I've added like 8 people recently. No, oh, it's weird. It's like there's, there's weird thresholds with number of fans. You hit a certain number and all of a sudden you need a lot more support, it feels like. All right, so Puzzlor. VN, which is it's a pretty lame name. But then <laughs> um, I don't feel bad about my name, my naming convention so much anymore. Uh, we do copy protection. I saw there's a new Roller Coaster Tycoon game coming out. And it's like Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventure Deluxe. It's like they're just tacking names on at the end. And I'm like, hey, that's what I do when I play Mad Games Psycho 2. And I'm like, I feel a little better about, about that now, right? About my lame names because real life developers do the same. Although apparently people are expecting that game to be pretty bad. I do remember, I do have fond members of Roller Coaster Tycoon back God, it'd be 20 years ago now. More than 20 years ago. It was a while. That game came out a long time. Actually, probably more than 20 years ago. I'm old. This just in, folks. Luch is old. Ah, I'm sure probably most of the people watching are on the older side. All right, so sound team is done. Graphics team. Why is the graphics team so slow? They still have like a full thing to do. Huh. Do I need to bump up my size of my graphics team? Let's do a demo for Second Mania 7 Classic. And what else? What else could go for a demo? Horror Wizards Fight 3, top choice. And in the park, baseball silver. And all right, let's do um, Buzzler VN here. 
big release for the press. Overhype. This is my first visual novel, but I have stars in it from doing it as a, like a subgenre, so it should be fine. It should be a good game. Overhype didn't work though. So let's do a demo to get this up to 100 hype, or close to it at least. That graphics team will be done in time. Oh, it's close. It's a race. Yeah, graphics team finished first, but just barely. 80 to 100. I do like this nice negative 13 million cost. Did not cost me a whole lot. Ooh, why did Alien Invasion 10? Oh, so this is an add-on. Alien Invasion 10 asteroid something. I forget. Asteroid battle. You notice how the sales like just dropped off a cliff? It's because I believe, um, yes, the sales, the total sales, 5.76 million, are now equal the main game sales. It's a it's a paid add-on. Its sales cannot eclipse the sales in the main game, so it just hit main game sales. But I mean, it made 78 million dollars. That's really good for an add-on. Might have to do another add-on here. All right, uh, we got to wait. There we go. Now we don't have to wait. Um, little polishing, little polishing. Summer slump is over. How is um? Let's call it selling now. Dragon Fantasy Eleven still a hundred thousand. That's good. That's good. Console sales are still probably pretty bad though. Yeah, sixty-five one hundred five. That's actually not that bad. Once this end and the prices come down, I just hope. I really hope this ends before the holiday season. Probably won't. I just realized I don't think I have an engine updated ready for the next game. What do I want my next game to be? So visual novel is supposed to be the trend, which is why I just made a visual novel. Um, action. That would be Alien Slaughterhouse, right? Or did I update? Or did I already update that engine? Well, it'll be out of date anyway because we just got a new feature for it, right? I think I did update this recently, but we have to add the sound now. So we got full text level six. All right, so that'll be really quick. It's just one thing. So we'll just polish this until until that's done. In Alien Invasion 10, 110 million profit. So that means the add-on literally can't sell any more units, right? Because it's, it's capped now forever. All right, finished development, self-distribution. And motion capture support. All right, so yes, that was a new achievement because it was my first visual novel. Oh yeah, this was an exclusive. That's right too. Ooh, 99. It's my first 99. I feel like this is my first legendary 99. Nice. Ah, uh, would have been. Imagine if this would have been 100. But we'll see. Now that's an exclusive. Is that gonna? Is it gonna be a console seller? It might be. I'm hoping. I'm certainly hoping. <laughs> Um, Alien Slaughter, it was 10, no, not 9 equals, <laughs> Alien Slaughter, it was 9 equals 10, that would be a terrible game. Um, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of different subgenres that work for an action game. Should we change the subgenre? We already have a couple times. It was... <laughs> Started as an action role-playing game, then it became an action first-person shooter, then an action third-person shooter, then an, <laughs> then an action survival game. Um, there's still several things I could put it to. Um, have we done action adventure yet? What about action skill or action platformer? I feel like I've done action platformer, like with a different game. No, I haven't. All right, well, Alien Slaughterhouse 10 is going to be a platformer. We got a five-star license. For this? Hmm. Can I try a new combination here? Androids? That's an extra 3% sales. Does Androids work with Action Game? I wonder. Let's check. Let's check my handy dandy guide. Um, it does. I only have er, Androids, Androids. Yes. I only have one star though. It, that is going to hurt. Um, what could I... What do I have that has more? I mean, like, dragons, obviously. I have five stars and dragons, but... So what do we have right now? So, wait. Um, 
it's aliens, I could do space or space stations, but I probably have done those combinations before. Space stations, I have aliens and space. Yeah, I've done these combinations already. So, yeah, let's go androids. 13% extra sales. I don't think that one star is going to hurt the review score a whole lot. This is still going to be 98%, I think. Um, I'm going to leave it at AAA for now, but I'm pretty sure it's going to end up being a quadruple A game. Action Engine. I'm going to go multi-platform for now, but this may actually end up being an exclusive. I'll have to see. Yeah, having no stars in that is kind of a bummer. Right? Um, 2500. What did the old one do? How much was this one worth? 3300. So yeah, we're losing sound by doing this. But once we get more stars in it, obviously it's going to eclipse the old one. Um, oh yeah, this will be my first action platformer. I'm kind of surprised I never did an action platformer. 4295. So some, some fairly significant changes here. Way more beginner friendly. Well, I guess because we went from survival to a platformer. That's very different, right? 3, 4, 10, 3. Those are similar though, I guess. And 4, 7, 8. No, 6, 5, 7. I was looking at the wrong one. 6, 5, 7. Yeah, that's pretty different. Leave those as they are. Turn on everything, which is... 62 of 50. Yeah, I'm not cutting 12 features. That's not happening. So this is going to be a quadruple A game. Because it's a quadruple A game. Uh, like, if I go exclusive, it's going to lose money. Like a lot of money. Now, I want to get back up to a billion dollars. So I'm just going to go, yeah. We'll include the Y box and the PC. I mean, that's an extra, you know, 235 million people, right? It's a lot of people. Because my consoles just don't have the uh, the user bases right now. They'll get there eventually, probably, hopefully, possibly. But we'll see. But hey, if you're enjoying this video, join this series in general, do me a favor. Hit that like button. It helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. I always forget. I always forget to ask for likes. I remember at the end of the video, but... I need to be asking sooner, probably. Anyway, so, sorry. I don't like begging for likes, though. It's complicated. It's a complicated issue, folks. And I'm not sure why I'm even talking about it right now. So, anybody maxed out on training? No. We had two marketing people max out this episode, and that's it for training so far. But, like I said, I did get another achievement there. It's not a whole lot left. And there's 11, so... Buy at least 30 developers, buy at least 10 developers. I'm working on it. I have I have five. Um, sell 50 million units of a console. Did I even come close to that? I don't think so. I think my, well, the GoPro is my best-selling console. Oh, no, wait. It's at 48 million. I'm going to leave this on the market until it hits that. If the semiconductor shortage ever ends. Nice. All right, so I'm going to have that one soon. 100% review score, 50 million units of a single game. We're nowhere near that. We haven't even got 10 million, right? Maybe an MMO could hit this. Reach 2050, cell phone game, free-to-play game, MMO, retro game. These are all going to come eventually, just not quite yet. Nope, I just said I didn't have anybody maxed out, and there's somebody maxed out, so they still need graphics and sound. Graphics or somebody maxed out in here. Did they literally just max out, or did I just miss them being maxed out? And another... How did I miss all these people being maxed out? <laughs> uh, it's easy to miss things when you have a YouTuber brain, folks. You folks don't understand what it's like to have a YouTuber brain. My programmers got lucky. Bug reports turned out to be wrong. Like, sometimes I'll get a comment, and somebody will be like, uh, you missed this or that, and I'll be like... I'll look back, and I'm like, I did... I did miss that. How? How did I miss that? I don't know. I don't know. I got, I have no excuse. How good is this most, most, yeah. How is my most recent game selling? Not very good. No, it isn't exclusive though. I'm going to do an update for it. I was hoping that 90, 90% review score would help. 
hopefully it is the trend. We we think it's going to be the trend. Hopefully it actually is the trend. It might not be though. All right, does anything need marketing? Cyclomania 6 remastered? That's uh, been out for a long time. No. Although, eh, made 30 million. Now it's going to be off the market soon. Uh, in the park, baseball, silver. Yeah, that's kind of not really. No. No, I'm, gonna, I'm not touching that one. All right. What about my consoles? What were my consoles at? Right. You know what? I'm going to hype. I'm going to hype the, uh, the GoPro. I know it's a million dollars that I'll probably not necessarily get back, but I want that 50 million for a console achievement. Right? Like, I think that's, I think that's, there's a Steam achievement for doing that on Legendary Difficulty as well. Which is part of the reason why I'm doing this Legendary Let's Play. Oh, Clara, you are ready for the big room. And who wants to come out? Uh, so no, not lots of people. One, one person? Only one person needs training? Apparently. You just need sound, and then you'll be ready for the big room. All right. Uh, what type of game am I going to make next? This is a good question that I am not going to answer quite yet. And these people are just maxing out all over the place. Marketing, let's go. Move one of the low ones out. Yeah, I do think I'm going to have to expand that room or build a new one. I have space. That's not an issue, right? I have space. Although it's not unlimited space. It's not as much space as I would like. Because this room is going to need to be in big end as well. Right? And yes, I realize in big end is completely not a word. <laughs> uh, trend's going to change in three weeks. Alien Slaughterhouse is neglected. Ooh, Horror Wizards. I need to do a Horror Wizards game, which is a puzzle game. Although I think I've spun Horror Wizards off, though, haven't I, as well? So I could do puzzle or, oh, third-person shooter. Yeah, that third-person shooter. It's like, has the second and first and second best-selling games of all time. Yeah. And by a lot. Right? Although, is um, Dragon Fantasy XI going to be a contender? It might. It might be a contender long term. Holiday season's coming up. Stupid chip shortage is still going. So, update old engine. Third person shooter. Tech level 6, baby. Looking good. Uh, let's go with the little chair halfling. TPS engine 6.19. Away we go. I mean, I don't know how popular it's going to be once the trend changes. All right. Yeah, so this add-on's off the market. Made $79 million. That's a lot for an add-on. I think I'm going to make a Dragon Fantasy 11 add-on once this is done. Right? It's selling well enough. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, this VN is selling terribly. Less than 10K already. And I know it's an exclusive, but I mean, I've had other exclusives sell much better. Like this one actually almost made money. If you factor, although I guess it's a double A game, it's not a real big accomplishment. <laughs> you factor in the consoles it sold, it actually was profitable. But it's only a double A size game, so that's not a big, it's not a big achievement. Actually, I'm I'm kind of surprised. I'm oh no, wait, it's over. Oh, the event just over and just ended. So my console sales should skyrocket, in theory. Yeah, that's, yeah. And the holiday season coming up in a couple of weeks, so that ended, like, just in time. That event ended just in time for the holiday season, which is music to my ears. All right, so visual novel is the trend, as we thought it would be. Third-person shooter, eh, it's not real popular, but at least it's not super saturated. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the Horror Wizards, whatever it's called. I forget. <laughs> I'm going to do it. That's the important thing. All right. And action's nice and popular, which is good because that's what I'm making right now. Right? 
I did not win best graphics. I did win best sound. Developer of the year, publisher of the year, game of the, ooh, game of the year. It's game of the year and it's barely selling. <laughs> barely selling. Although holiday season, the winning game of the year, sales should go up pretty nicely. And puzzle or five IP, but it's already at five IP. All right, um, so let's start special marketing for Alien Slaughterhouse. Release for the press and overhype. And let's see, uh, what can we do a budget game of now? Bojack's Experience 8? Sure. Platinum. Bojack's Experience 8 Platinum. $10. That's a good price, I think, for these uh, these budget games. But once I get enough of these budget games, I can do another bundle. Right? Because you can only put budget games in the bundle. And this is where you really make the money. Seems to me. Come on, big sales. Yeah, I mean, obviously it went up, but I'm going to be honest, I was expecting a little more. Awesome Bundle went up. Psychomania 7 Classic. That's actually moving the units really well. Actually, I'm going to hype up Psychomania 7 Classic considering how many units it's moving. That's worth the TV spot. Dragon Fantasy 11 back up over 100k. Led Dead 5 selling nicely. Still, which is good to see. Alien Invasion Adventures chugging along. That's well over 5 million now. And consoles, yes, 250k of the Halfling, 150k of the Troll. Obviously, they're still, neither one of them are anywhere near profitable, but neither one of them have been revised yet right they both have a revision to come up to tech level seven eventually and that's when that's when they'll really shine right in theory in reality who knows but hopefully oh we got a bunch of people maxed out over here all right you're going over here so all right so game design everybody's either at 90 plus at 60, where they're capped, or at 50, where they're capped, yes. Programming. Lowest is 50. And capped at 60, and or over 90. Graphics, 50, or 60. And the difference between 60 and 50 is these people are all rounders. And over 90. And sound, over 90. 60s. 50s and all right that's it everybody in here is fully trained it's finally happened all right so let's uh take out a couple of marketing people here and you know what them two are close enough we're gonna move them in as well actually they're treading water they're not getting ahead of the queue right now but they're not really falling behind anymore it doesn't appear which is nice and obviously having better people is helping. You're, oh my God, you're maxed out. You need music and sound. You're maxed out. You need graphics and or music and sound. Yeah, this room's gonna have to get bigger soon. And I guess I could just do that right now. Why not? Why not, right? All right, so how many chairs how many more desks is that going to allow me probably not that many actually actually i'm going to need to move some of this stuff all this stuff that used to be against the wall and now that wall's not there anymore right <laughs> so we'll move all this stuff first and then we'll put some desks in we have more space now, right? And we know what we're dealing with type thing. This robot, does it count as being in the way? Not really. All right. Oh yeah, all kinds of desks. What's that, 12, 14, 15, 16, 16 more desks? Um. Quality is good. Heat. 
Uh, we could go for, yeah, let's put a couple more heaters in here. And a couple of hall radiators. People are always complaining they're cold in the halls. Cry babies. <laughs> um, does anybody ever go in those halls? Probably not really. Is there anything else for my research team to do right now? No. Cool. All right, so that's done. It's like a mini six remastered. Remaster made $32 million. We take that. We definitely take that for sure. Yeah, this holiday season's been pretty good to me. We're gonna we're gonna be back over half a million half of that. Back over 500 million, aka half a billion here very soon. Um, let's do another free update for Dragon Fantasy. Maxed out I'm using a sound person. They need literally everything else, though still. I said there. I want you in there. Alright, everybody's polishing, everybody's polishing. It's overhyped. So yeah, when that's ready to go, we can put it out the door. You know they need a demo or anything right now? The awesome bundle. How have I not done a demo for the awesome bundle yet? That's an oversight on my part. For sure. Yes, back up to 100 hype with you. Oh my god, this cost $74 million. <laughs> Games are expensive to make. I just want to do a little polishing here, just a bit. I mean, we're basically missing the holiday season at this point anyway, so. Finish development, self-distribution, come on, 100%. Wait, what did I price? What did I price this at? Did I price this too high? People already wrote in their comments, Ooch, your <laughs> Puzzler of the Dragon VN is not selling because you made it too expensive. I'll check here in a sec. But I think that might have been what happened. Yeah, I'll take 98. That 99 spoiled me. Kind of, right? Uh, Puzzler VN. Yeah, I'm charging, I'm charging $40 for a game that... Probably should be 30. Let's try just reducing it to 35 for now. Let's see what that does for the sales. Um, sales are going to actually dip, though, because holiday season's ending. Um, yeah. And what was the plan here, Looch? I forget already what the plan was. No, Horror Wizards Fight 4 was the plan. Um, we'll leave it at AAA for now, although I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to end up being more than that. Nice four-star license for that. GPS engine. Multi-platform. Probably should, right? Go multi-platform. GameStation 3 is up to 77 million users. Yeah, yeah. No, why box sell is more, so why would I do that? Troll and Halfling. Turn on all the languages. I'm just gonna go with all that. Turn on everything and fifty-eight of fifty. I mean I could cut eight things. And be okay, probably. Right? Oh, so <laughs> gotta cut more. Gotta cut more loot. 45 and 11. 45 and 38. All right. You know what? This is gonna be manufacturer exclusive, though. There we go. Um, let's go half like main and troll. Does it matter which one you do as your main platform? Because it doesn't say platform two, three, four. It says main platform and then two, three, four. You know what I mean? So I wonder if it matters. If anybody knows the answer to that, let me know in the comments or let us all know in the comments. 
yeah, I feel like I can make this a manufacturer exclusive and still make some money if I make it AAA. We'll see. Oh, no, I need to include touchscreen. All right, so side quest got to come out. <laughs> That's fine. But maybe, here's the thing, though. Is it still going to get a good review score if it's only AAA? Like, we cut a lot of things. Now, it's things that generally don't matter all that much, in theory. In reality, though... Uh -huh. Okay, I just said, <laughs> um, I don't know what I said, but Siri thought I said Siri, and now she's probably going to talk to me again. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know. And if you guys couldn't hear that, then never mind. But if you could, anyway, um, music and sound maxed out. It still needs graphics. Graphics person maxed out. Still needs sound. Another graphics person maxed out. Still needs sound. All right. Beautiful. Yeah, typically I don't have... Well, I'm not even going to say her name because I don't want her to pop up again. <laughs> Apple's assistant AI thing. I don't usually have her on, but I had to pick up, take my mother... Well, pick her up. Pick up my mother from a hospital in a city that I'm not from, so I had to... Anyway, I had her on so I could text while I was driving and whatnot. Um... What kind, of, what kind of game am I making? So yeah, so I apologize if you could hear that. And if you couldn't, then I'm just talking for no reason. Uh, adventure is really popular and not saturated. I should probably make an adventure game. Right? That will probably be good. The old quest engine. Appling. Um, tech level 6. Tech level 6. Tech level 6. And tech level 6. All right. I'm a little disappointed. I I guess I was over 500 million for a brief moment in time there. So, yeah, I guess I'm not. I'm kind of disappointed, but not really. If that makes sense. Oh, my God. Alien Slaughterhouse 10. You got, do you see those sales numbers? Those are crazy sales numbers. Which is good. That's a good thing. All right, but that's going to be all for this episode, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoy my content, uh, consider supporting me on Patreon. Link's in the description down below to that. Shout out to my patrons. I could not do this without them, literally. Um, link's in the description down below. I may have already said that. Anyway, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.